Hello friends, welcome back to our kitchen. Today we are making a low carb shepherd's pie. It's a two layer shepherd's pie. The top layer is the cauliflower and the bottom layer is made up of vegetable stew. It's a baked recipe and we'll go straight ahead to our ingredients which are I'm here we'll begin by 500 grams of cauliflower. Um, besides it we have some oil there and Himalayan salt, turmeric and lemon rind. To our vegetables still we have courgettes, we have carrots which we have chopped. Um, as you can see here we have green and yellow bell peppers, you can use even the red ones. We have soy beans. we have green peas, we have a few stalks of celery, um, we have chopped up one large onion. Into our seasonings we have salt, cumin and paprika. So those are our only ingredients. We'll need two pots, one for cooking our cauliflower, one for stew and of course wooden spoons. And we'll begin by cooking our cauliflower. Um, so in this pot we'll put our cauliflower. We have washed and divided it into smaller florets. We've added our turmeric, salt, and we're adding water. Um, we'll add uh, slightly just half because it takes a shorter time to cook. I've added the oil as well. I'll add the lemon rind later. You noted that I used um, the yellow rind and not the green one. I was afraid that it would be bitter. So we'll cook this for 10 minutes and after 10 minutes you can see um, they have cooked and they have become fork tender. So we'll remove this from the fire and allow it to cool for 2-3 minutes and now they have cooled. We'll process them in a food processor. If you don't have you can use a blender. So here I added my lemon rind, I added some more salt and I processed it until smooth. So cauliflowers um, have very high fiber. They come from the cruciferous family and they have so many cancer fighting antioxidants and phytochemicals. And it has low calories, which is good for weight loss. So here they have not yet mashed well. We'll just process it a little more until it becomes mushy. You want a texture which is not so runny. Also, it is not so very thick, one that can be poured and distributed. And I think we are done here. So we'll keep it aside and allow it to cool as we prepare our stew. So to our stew we have onions which we have put um, some water and allowing it to saute. I have used one tablespoon of oil and some water and we'll begin by the vegetables which take much longer to cook. So I've begun with my carrots and celery and the green peas. We'll stir this and as you can see there's some moisture. So as we stir I'll use the moisture to cook them. What I'll do is that I'll cover this and allow it to cook. It took only three minutes and as you can see um, the water has disappeared. I was even afraid that um, it, was, it was catching down but um, they're looking nice. They are a bit tender and fair. We'll again add our other ingredients. We'll add our soy mints. We hydrated this with um, water, hot water. 
this will be followed by our courgettes and this take a short time to cook here we've added the himalayan salt the cumin and the paprika and i'm adding two cups of water um as we cook this you want this to cook down so that while transferring to the baking tin uh, the much moisture will have evaporated as i was baking i realized that i had retained a lot of moisture and i had to drain the excess so i covered this and allowed it to cook for five minutes and after five minutes this is how they were looking um they were all cooked everything was fork tender the carrots the courgettes the green beans lastly i added my bell peppers i always love them as slightly chewy so we'll just cook until the liquid has drained so after this um i did not drain the excess uh soup but you off you ought to drain it completely so i turned out the fire and put it at a place to allow it to cook after it has cooled then we'll transfer it to a baking tray remember um do not transfer the excess soup i did transfer the excess soup but i had to drain it later um so here we have the stew we have put it in our baking tray or baking tree tin you can use um a casserole dish um if you can see also the cauliflower had some moisture you want to drain the moisture you can use the water in another recipe perhaps in making another stew so this is how i did it i just poured the cauliflower different patches and i spread it gently you don't want to interfere with the bottom layer so after doing this i just did a little decoration with uh, my fork um meanwhile preheat your oven i preheated mine at 230 degrees celsius this will be closer to 400 degrees fahrenheit and mine took one hour um, and some few minutes to bake and so we'll bake this until you see the top layer has turned and become golden brown as you can see here um it was golden brown it was sweet it tasted like a cake especially the top layer um so this is how i did not allow it to cook very well so it tore apart but nonetheless it was very sweet it was well baked um the tops were a bit crunchy and so remember when you're eating this eat this to the glory of god remember to be a channel of light wherever the lord has placed you tell me what you think concerning this recipe if you like it please give it a thumbs up if you wish to see more plant-based recipes just hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we upload a new recipe otherwise have a blessed week bye